Hi guys, so we've just come out. We've come out to town with my girls. Say hi. <laughs> So we're in Waterloo Ville at the moment, we're just doing a little bit of shopping. I'm going to put on the end of this video the testing I did this morning because it was quite surreal really because um, last night I had quite bad ovulation pain um, late at night on my left side so we were eager to try and get a baby dancing so yeah so but this morning as you'll see in a minute it didn't give me the results I thought I might get. So yeah, watch and enjoy, but today we're on a little outing while the boys are at football. Hello. Hello. And we're just grabbing... No, you can't eat a sugar cube. Oh, you can't eat a sugar cube. We're just having a quick little um, run around the shops. Um, I'll get back to you in a bit. Say bye. 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 Say bye. <laughs> bye. Hi guys, so we've had a really busy morning. Productive, wasn't it girls? Yeah. Was it good? They've just demolished a Waitrose sushi, which they both really like. You asked me what I do in my day-to-day -day life. Well, usually I rush around shops, getting all bits and pieces, strip beds, do cleaning, all things like that. But today's pretty much relaxed because the three boys wanted to go to football club again, which is amazing because I pack a lunch and lots of, lots of drinks. And they're at that club really happy from about nine till three, which is great. It's given us lots of time. So I've sorted the eldest school uniform out. So we've done all that, haven't we, darling? So we've done that yesterday. And today we've got all our toiletries and bits and pieces. So we've had a really good productive day doing shopping. And I'm going to do an OPK when I get back because I've had to pee twice. So I need at least a three hour hold, I'd say, to get a good true reading on that. But I'm thinking it might be a flashing face rather than that circle. That's what I'm thinking because when I showed you the line at the end, it was starting to get that sort of stronger colour. And the way I felt last night, I really did think it would be flashing. So yeah, I'm going to do an OPK and I'll tag it on. But right now it's about half past one. It's lunchtime. I've got to get back now to pack away all the shopping, but I'll tag it on. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you like these videos. Thank you. Bye. Hi guys. Okay, to finalise the video, so this morning you've probably seen me doing my OPKs. I've had a quick run around town with the two girlies because I've got to go and pick up the boys in a minute. It's now currently half past two in the afternoon. We've done lunch, we've done shopping and I felt so niggly last night, like really niggly on the left hand side. So I was thinking, I reckon it's going to be the ovulation period for me in a day or two. I did think I'd get flashy and then the next day maybe get a solid peak face static on my advanced digital. But then I was hoping I was wrong because I don't really want to ovulate, start ovulating really early because then it's going to make me think, are my cycles all becoming different? like will I start having a 24 day cycle and so on and so forth. So in a way I was relieved that it was a circle and I've just checked the packaging and the instructions and it does say if you get a circle you can baby dance but it's just for fun um, and it does mean low fertility and don't test twice a day on the digitals until you get to the flashy face and that's if you want to. Now as you know I've done that before when I got to flashy face and I had a constant flashy face for like 11 days straight because I'm a regular cycle, I continued with it because it does say stop testing after nine days if you're not regular. However, I went with it, got my solid face after 11 days of flashy, but it comes really, it becomes really expensive. So I'm not going to retest on my digital. I'm just going to quickly do an afternoon ovulation. I've held my pee for two hours. That's all I could manage because I had to go at like one o'clock desperately. This is just a five second dip. One, two, three, four, five little swell that's going across I'm just going to see if the line is any darker than what it was this morning when I tested at half past six but we sort of ticked the box for this morning just in case because I sort of said to Aaron I don't want to miss a moment because I really am desperate now as you know so we're gonna you know if it was solid today we'd have obviously been on it but yeah maybe I am gonna ovulate early or maybe it was just some niggles that I felt I really don't know so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tag this all together, put a little video out. So at the moment, I'm currently day nine of my cycle. I'm usually a 28 day cycle. Symptom wise, the niggles were quite apparent. As I say, they started at about one in the morning because when I got up for a pee, I thought, oh, 
I feel like I'm going to ovulate. That's how I felt. But CM is, um, I'd say, watery, not the really stretchy at the moment. I have just checked. There's plenty there. It is sort of that creamy colour, but I wouldn't say it's sort of stretching. So I'm sort of, I've had the dry two days, which I normally have. I finished on day five, my AF, and then, um, yeah, nothing for six and seven, but yesterday quite a lot of watery, and today, like I say, there is lots there, but it's not quite stretchy yet. So anyway, my circle is like that on the ovulation test, the digital, so that says low fertility. So I really don't want to start doing a regular sort of thing of baby dancing and getting all stressed out if I'm not on that page at the moment. So this is going across, my control line is up. And I hope you like are uh, really well out there. And I'm so pleased for my friend who's subscribed to me, Kathy, Kathy Whiteley. She's just got her um, BFP, which is absolutely amazing. And I know you were trying for a few months in gender sway and pink, but she doesn't mind what she gets. But um, let's hope she does get a pink one, but she's just over the moon. That hasn't taken long to try. So that's really good. So my love's with you and hello to all of you out there. And also, thank you. That's my little girl sticking her head around the corner, seeing what I'm doing. She keeps saying, Mummy, what does CM mean? Mummy, what do... I said, you don't need to know. You just need to know Daddy and I are trying for a boy or a girl. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so, um, Kathy, well done for your BFP. Baby dust to you all, and I hope it's all going well. And please remember to subscribe and like this video, because at the moment I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers for an amazing giveaway, gender neutral package, which will come your way. It is only open to UK people at the moment, because I don't think my funds will shift to multinational, but as soon as I get to 500 subscribers, I will definitely do that giveaway with all my heart. I'll make it really worth your while. So remember not just to watch it, but subscribe because I'll be doing loads of OPK testing, loads of pregnancy tests, and it's a really exciting channel. And to be honest, I don't think that's worth even getting the digitals out. Look, it's not come up. That to me is as faint as it was this morning. Okay, well it could be that my urine's quite weak. We do know that it's best to hold a pee for at least three to four hours before you do any of these tests. But anyway, love to you all, baby dust to you all, and hi to everyone who knows me. See you later, bye. Oh, and I'll be back tomorrow with my Cycle Day 9 OPK.